Hey folks, it's Lindsey Hudson with SPS back in the building over at Holt High School for the Moneyball Program. I'm sitting here with one of the guys who make it happen. I know it looks like he's about to go play in the third game and get a double-double. We used to do that a lot ago. We used to do that a lot ago. Yeah, yeah, but now I'm here with my guy Ben Bakken. He's doing great things. Senior Vice President over at TriStar as well as uh, leading up things for the Holt uh, Community Education uh, yep. Foundation. Got the old, so tonight we've got the whole Education Foundation and the whole Community Foundation. Right. Uh, as and you got the treasure is that? I'm the treasurer for the All Education Foundation. Okay, right. okay. Yep. So this is uh, somewhat of a David Stern. He knows all the bodies of bed and got everything going on, too. Ben, uh, year two of uh, yeah. the program at Holt High School. What is going on, man? Man, Th this has just been so fabulous. This is one of those This is one of those core memories I'm going to have when I look back in terms of the experience that uh, our entire whole community has had, you know, with welcoming Desmond and Moneyball and you uh, in and hosting it here. It just, it, it's gone absolutely fantastic, and and it's a great, it, it, it's great for Moneyball, it's great for Hull, great for the players, great for the community. It's a win all the way around. It's been fantastic. You know your way around corporate circles. Yep. You know that when things are going bad or there's a challenge, there's always this meeting to figure out what's wrong. If you had to sit down with the stakeholders, what would you say are some of the highlights that's making this work so well? Yeah, that's an easy one. So... You know, we think about Moneyball. It's a basketball event. You, you've got, it, it, as I, you've heard me say many times, Lindsay, this is the best sports-related value anywhere in our community. I mean, to watch this level of athlete uh, play at their level um, in a free environment, but with this kind of access. You know, these guys, were, you know, there's a lot of people in this gym who will watch these guys play at the Breslin Center this winter, but after the game, they don't get to walk up to them and take a picture. They don't stand in line in the same concessions line with them. They don't get to meet them. It's great for the players. They get to engage and interact, and it's great for the community. So we think about the basketball component, but the beneficiary of it are several nonprofit organizations uh, here in our community. So Moneyball, they don't charge. They're not getting paid. You know, who's benefiting is the whole education foundation. So our role is that technically we uh, are renting the space from the school and then we present Moneyball, okay? So the Ed Foundation, what we do is we raise money and we give mini grants to teachers so that they can come up with things in their classroom sure. they don't have to pay for it out of pocket. Sure. It provides scholarships for kids. Last year, the whole Education Foundation ran the entire concessions and kept all the profit, but then I was popping popcorn, you know, 11 nights yeah, you know, yeah. out of the summer. This year, we split that. So we've had groups like... Um, we'll have Lansing Saves in here next week. Oh, wow. We've got the whole Community Foundation here tonight. The Diamonddale Arts Council. You've got the Sheriff's um, Explorers Group. Oh, wow. Alex had a night offer to him. So, like, the beneficiaries of this from a fundraising standpoint are volleyball, our softball, our soccer program. Um, they're the ones who financially benefit from, from working concessions. Uh -huh. And so the wins are just all the way around. It's yeah. fantastic. I love that, I love that how uh, this one organization, Moneyball, can have an impact on no so question. many other people. No question. Um, talk about what the future looks like. Uh, tell me what's on the horizon. What things are you involved in? Always knowing you're doing some great things for yeah. the community. Absolutely. So, I mean, you know, in terms of this event, this is exciting for me. I mean, my kids are coming up. You know, my, my daughter Claire is 12. Uh, I know she's going uh, yep, to your yep, daughter. Yep, and, yep, yep. Yep. and uh, you know, Jack and Henry and their friends. And so they get to be here. Like, look, we turn around. So, like, my kids get to rebound for these players during the games. You know, yeah, right? yeah. junior and stuff. That's exciting. Obviously, from a basketball standpoint of all, we've got some fabulous new varsity head coaches that are coming in. Uh -huh. um, obviously, Muhammad's out there right now. I had the privilege of being able to coach him on the oh, wow. yeah, yeah, team. Yeah. And now he'll be the head coach of the boys team. Edwin Jones, fabulous head Shout coach. Edwin got to sit down with Edwin a little while ago. Did you good? Uh -huh. Yeah. So couldn't be more excited uh, for both of them. You know, outside of that, for me, I mean, uh, you know, I'm busy all the time. You so know how I do it. Uh, and you make it look cool though when you do it. Though. Well, good. I like that. Take my look through it. So. I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but yeah, professionally, you know, TriStar Trust uh, Bank, you know, I'm a senior vice president there. We're a full service wealth management company. But what I love about TriStar is that um, it's it's not about what we do, it's about why we do it. We're, we're all about building lasting, genuine relationships that strengthen families and transform communities. So the work that we do from a volunteer standpoint all goes back to that, strengthening families and transforming communities. And you think about Moneyball's engagement here, you think about all these kids and families that are here with 
their parents and their grandparents. You think about the benefit that this provides, you know, to our community. Um, it's a great place to work. We're great at what we do, but um, you know, the fact that they support things like this, um, it's just a perfect situation for me. Well, uh, I think everyone is appreciative of your hard work behind the scenes and what's happening right now. It's been a great experience. So before we get back to what's going on, yeah. any other shout outs? Anybody want to give a shout out to before we let you go? I, I absolutely do, and I did this last year too, and I'm going to keep doing it. But, but Lindsay, you don't get enough credit for what you do, my friend. Uh, you really don't. And I mean, the way that you, that you draw positive attention, you know, great things are happening, but not enough people see the great things that are happening. You know, we live in a world where when bad things happening, that's what's on the lead, right. you know, and everyone right. sees about. But great stuff like this, you bring positive energy and positive attention. I appreciate, I appreciate your friendship you. and everything you I do. I surely appreciate yours as well. I always can get a, a good comment, a good word. Uh, keep it up. We're doing great things at the Money Ball Forum at Hope High School. And we'll see you guys next time. Peace. See ya.